Hey folks, here's another video on how to use ChemDraw and SDBS to find reference spectra when you're identifying unknowns. This is Nicole from Portland State. So I've got a structure, I've simulated a spectra, and I think this is probably the structure of my unknown compound. So I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to generate a name. So I'm going to hit the structure to name button. And then I'm going to click this and copy it and go over here. And hopefully you click the link on your lab report. And I have been able to go to the SDBS website. And you just click agree at the bottom. And it's going to take you to this page now. I just generated a name, so I have a compound name I can post there. If I say have a molecular formula and I have not figured out the exact structure yet, I can also use these tools here by putting in the number of atoms that I think are in this compound, and it will give me that. But I've got a name, so I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to hit search. Alrighty, so first hit is vanillin, which is probably what this is. We can click this and it will show us the structure and we can compare that to our structure. Yep, same compound. Great. So now that I'm here, mm -hmm. the first thing I'm going to do, you're going to be asked to provide a reference. That, that is what this is looking for the URL for this compound that's in the left sidebar of your page here. So I found my compound, I've taken my URL and I can save that over here. Okay. Now I need to find a reference IR spectra, right? So you can see there's a couple different ones here. The one that's going to be closest to what we are not used to looking at is the KBR disk. So I'm going to click that. And it will give me this page here. So if I can copy this image and paste it in, sometimes it doesn't let you. That's entirely normal. So what I'm going to do is go back to the site. I like to open this in a new tab. And then I just have the image. And then I'll hit print screen. And then if I go back over to my Word, I can dump that down, go to my picture tools, and crop down until you only have the reference spectra. And there you go. So that's my reference IR spectra. Say I want an NMR spectra. So let's go back to the main page. And let's look at the 1H NMR in a 90 in chloroform. So we've got again a reference spectra. You can copy this image and see if that works. And if not, we will do the same. Yep. Okay. So again print screen button is your friend. And again, you can crop it so that way nobody has to see, you know, the embarrassment of tabs you have open whatever it is 
that you don't want us to see outside of what we're looking for. Okay. So I've found my compound and found my reference spectra. You'll notice that there's assignments here. If I need to see a carbon in a mark to compare that as well, I can do that. And let's say I need to look for another compound. I'm going to just hit return to search over here. Okay. So let's say instead I need to find something that has four carbons, eight hydrogens, and one nitrogen. Because from what I can tell, it's probably what's happening in my molecule. So I can put those arbor atoms in there and then hit the search. And it'll give me compounds that are close in terms of what they have. So you can see that if you go back, you can't really go back in this website, but uh, that is the main gist of how SDBS works. SDBS has reference spectra for most major compounds and certainly for all the unknowns that we will be asking you about. And we think it's a great tool. So get comfortable using it. And good luck and stay safe out there.